we can look at the mark of the beast being carried out in three phases. Right now, we're between phase zero and phase one, which would be the planning stage. You know, they're talking about it, they're getting the blueprint ready, and they're laying the groundwork to get it rolled out. But honestly, we're pretty much already past that point. So, uh, next would be uh, phase one, which would be implementation. Uh, the digital currency is ready, banks are accepting it, and businesses are starting to take it. Uh, next uh, would, would then be phase two. This is where we see the proliferation of the digital currency, where it becomes widely accepted nationwide. It's kind of like how it was when uh, debit cards first rolled out in uh, the late 1970s. Uh, and now, nearly 50 years later, most people uh, know what a debit card is. Or, you know, they've used one at some point in time in their life. Okay. Uh, debit cards are very popular very common thing now after proliferation would be phase three which is the phasing out of the US dollar that is the physical currency it will be completely phased out and then you'll have to use digital currency to buy sell and trade and once that happens that will officially be the mark of the beast and if you use this currency especially after the banning of the US dollar then you've just taken the mark of the beast and if you take the mark of the beast, then you're worshipping Satan, and that will get you sent to hell. So, it's important that, as a Christian, you don't take the mark of the beast, guys. Alright guys, that's all I have for you today, and I'm signing off.